Have you ever wondered about homesteading? Well, if you have, then look no further because today on this video at Agronomag, we are going to be bringing you the top 15 best dates for homesteading in 2023. While there are sure a ton of benefits to live in a big city, there will always be some sort of special allure coming from living off of the land's riches, essentially making your own pathway through life without having to rely on what society gives you. This is why so many people nowadays have started changing up their lifestyle, quickly switching over to a homesteading way of life instead. There will always be positives and negatives to each and every decision we make, and this one definitely has its fair share of both. For example, switching over to a homesteading lifestyle will be hard for those that have never done any fieldwork themselves, as homesteading implies a lot of agricultural work, gardening, and a ton of crafting which not everyone is capable of doing. On the other hand, however, once you get into the groove of things, you will find that living a life of self-sufficiency is actually extremely good for both your body and your mind. Make subtle changes like growing your own food and producing your own textiles can really change your life around. So with that being said, if that sounds like a good trade for you, then you should definitely get into the homesteading business. Just know that modern day homesteaders are quite different from traditional homesteaders with the majority of new age homesteaders using renewable energy instead of the traditional counterpart. With that said, if you're still up for the challenge and you're ready to reap its rewards, then keep on watching because we are about to dive deep into the top 15 best dates for homesteading as of 2023. Weighing all of the positives and negatives of each state so you can see which one's the best match for you. Starting off with Alaska. Alaska will always be a great pick if you're trying to go natural because honestly, the whole state appears to have adopted this mantra of having a very good relationship with the wilderness and all that it entails. As you may already know by now, Alaska is a very solitary state in which most of the residents live either off of their own lands or they simply put live off of the fish that they collect and sell. While the winter time is not exactly the most favourable one out of the bunch, we do have to say that every other season of the year is pitch perfect for you to do your thing. Many people have struggled with winter time because they're not used to the cold weather, but as long as you stake it out, you will get through it eventually. On top of that, Alaska is a great choice because it is one of the best picks in the world for off-grid living. Remember, you're going to need that solitary lifestyle if you really want to get the job done without any distractions. Next on our list, we have Connecticut. While Connecticut can be a great pick for those looking to start up in a very homestead friendly environment, you do need to watch out though as the property taxes here are much higher than those of most other states around. If you can handle that extra bit of dough though, you can actually get yourself a first rate ticket straight to the heaven of all homestead farms because this is one of the prettiest states in all of the United States when it comes to its picturesque qualities. Not only that, but the water here is plentiful and the weather is usually in your favour, meaning you won't need to really sell an arm and a leg just so you can make it through the winter. So hey, if you're interested in a rocky terrain that makes for a great visual background for your homesteading business, definitely go for Connecticut. Next we have Wyoming. Wyoming is already known as the land of the cowboys, so it shouldn't come off as a surprise that this is also a great place for any homesteader to live out their dream in. There are very few residents in the area too, making this a great place for the people that don't want to be bothered anytime soon. Since there are so many farmers around, you should have no problem finding a ranch to rent or buy altogether to get your business started. On top of all of that, you can also just work as a helping hand at a nearby farm or ranch to get the ropes around the business. The only real downside here is again the weather during the winter. There is a lot that you'll have to endure and the winter here will only add to that toughness. But like a diamond in the rock, with every passing winter you'll get better and better at it until you've mastered the art of homesteading. Montana, if you have the budget for it, we highly recommend starting off your business here in Montana simply because of how beautiful of a location it is. Just look at any promotional picture from here and you'll literally have to hold your jaw so it doesn't hit the floor too hard. With that said, the winters here can again be quite harsh, although nowhere near as harsh as Alaska or Wyoming's winters. This is also a great place for the people that want a more secluded area to start up their homesteading business in. Peak summer can also be quite bothersome however, as drought is a problem that most homesteaders have to face with, but as long as you've got the right rain catching equipment, you won't need to bother too much with it all. 
Legality speaking, this is also a great place to start out because it generally favours those that want to live self-sufficiently. On top of that, the crime rates are very low and living off the land is made even cheaper by the low cost of living. Arizona Arizona might not seem like the best choice right off the bat simply because it is mostly made up of deserts which will make it hard to grow anything on your own. But while harder than usual, it is still very possible to do. You'll just need to invest more time, effort and resources into making it happen. Once you pass that hurdle though, you'll quickly make a profit because you'll have spent so much on the land to begin with. That's right, this is by far the cheapest land to buy in all of the US, just make sure that the area you're looking to start off your business in is legally allowing you to do so. There are some really weird laws around that can really make your job here harder. Michigan Michigan is yet another one of those states that makes for a great startup during any of the three seasons that you'll be able to profit off of. As you can already guess, the winters here are less than pleasant, with the great majority of the time, homesteaders being forced to try not to lose anything for the duration of the cold waves. Once that's done, however, you should be able to make a great profit here in no time, as the soil here is perfectly fertile and rich, making it for a great place to start planting your crops in. On top of all of that, remember that you'll always be within reach of Lake Michigan, which is by far one of the best places to be in if you're looking to also get your money's worth out of fishing for trout and salmon. Living here will be a bit more costly, but it's nothing you can't manage. You'll get used to it in no time. Trust us. Missouri The great thing about Missouri is that the state makes it very easy to collect rainwater to use on your ranch without you actually needing to pay anything to the government to begin with. Couple that with the fact that you get an average of 40 inches of rain every year and you have yourself one less thing to worry about as soon as you start making that profit. And yes, all seasons will bring you a steady flow of profits because even the harshest winters here are nothing to write home about. Sure, summers can get a bit steamy, but the humidity caused by the continuous rain pours should fix that right up for you. You may even get snow every now and then, which is always a great sight for sore eyes. Kentucky if you're looking for instant profits, Kentucky is one of the best choices out there for homesteaders as literally the moment you start producing, you'll instantly make a profit off of the local market as the demand for locally grown produce has always been up there for the general populace. On top of it all, it's also an incredibly beautiful site to live in with your family and if you're looking for solitude, there are very few picks that are as good for you as Kentucky is. Tennessee While Tennessee can also be a great place for urban communities, the rural parts of it definitely make for some of the best places in the world to start up your home selling business, and that's a fact. You'll have a ton of harvest year round, including during the harsh winters and the hot summers, and you'll be also saving a ton of money thanks to the very low taxes and low property costs from around the area. Also take into consideration the fact that you're allowed to collect rainwater at all times, so there's literally no reason as to why you shouldn't start up in Tennessee. West Virginia while the weather does change drastically from season to season, West Virginia still never passes that threshold making great profits all around the clock. You also get a whopping 44 inches of rain every year, making it very easy to collect and water your land and crops without having to spend any extra money or resources on that. Couple that with the low property taxes and you have a match made in heaven. The only real issue you'll be faced with is that you will have to deal with some pretty undesirable zoning restriction which will make it hard to purchase the land in the first place. Once you're past that hurdle though, you should have no problem making a profit here. Oregon While also one of the prettiest states out there, Oregon offers a plethora of great opportunities for any up-and-coming homesteader out there. First and foremost, the land here is very fertile and rich, making it a great pick for anyone that's looking to make a profit off of crops and gardens. Great land also means a lot less money to throw at your livestock, which is always a plus. You also have the incredible farmers markets around the area, which will surely be glad to become your acquaintances as soon as you announce your startup. If you're looking to build some experience before starting up, you can also make your way to one of the many homesteading towns here, whether you can either work for money or just help around to get a feel for the job before you dive headfirst into the business. Maine Maine is both a gorgeous place and one of the best choices you can make simply because it really offers no downsides to anything. Take for example the weather during peak season. You won't need to deal with any drought or harsh winters since all four seasons will allow you to grow out your crops. 
you can also start up around the northern side of Maine since that part is by far one of the least populated areas in all of the state. Couple that with the low property taxes and you've got yourself one of the absolute best choices as far as homesteading startups go. To top it all off, Maine also offers free land for those interested in starting up a self-sufficient homesteading business. That's literally the dream catchphrase that all upcoming homesteaders should be keeping their eyes peeled for. Florida. The great thing about Florida is that the land here is surprisingly extremely cheap, so you can literally get started at half the price of some of the other options on this list. You can literally buy plots for about 16 cents per square foot. Definitely a great deal you shouldn't miss out on anytime soon. On top of all of that, the land here is very fertile and rich and you can really live out your dream homesteading life because of the incredible natural scenery that you will be exposed to. The four seasons will be good to you and you'll really be appreciated in the community for bringing natural products to the market. Arkansas Arkansas is a very great pick for those that don't have the biggest budget out there, but that's not all. On top of that, you also get a plethora of amazing outdoor activities, very good land that you can grow most anything on and of course a very affordable cost of living which makes this one of the best picks for the modest homesteader. You can actually buy the cheapest land around Clay County for about 7 cents per square foot. Just remember prices may vary a lot, for example if you go to a more populated area that price can easily increase tenfold. Idaho. There's a reason as to why many people refer to Idaho as the best soil in the country and we bet you can already tell what that reason is. All jokes aside, this is definitely one of the top choices out there simply because of how beautiful it is, how isolated it is and overall how cheap the land is here to begin with. You also have some of the most favourable government laws around the country making this a literal high reward, no risk type of a deal. There are well over 60,000 homesteads in Idaho as of 2021, so you already know that the place is packing with like-minded people, which is always great for business. If you're bored, you can also take part in the skiing, rafting, hunting and fishing activities around the site too. As mentioned previously, you literally can't go wrong with Idaho. So now we've mentioned the 15 top states for homesteading, here's what to consider as a rookie homesteader. Always check the cost of the land that initial cost can really make or break a deal for you and you don't want to go bankrupt the same year you started up. Make sure your risks are at a minimum in terms of drought, harsh winters, super fun sites and fracking. Always check the state laws to make sure you're not doing anything wrong. Be ready to homeschool your children as a life in the countryside usually also means you won't get to send your children to any public schools since there aren't any in the area. Look into the landscape you're buying, a great background scenery can really attract a lot more eyes towards your produce. The community will always need to welcome you with open hands, otherwise you won't be making any local profit, which will result in you going bankrupt very quickly. Check to see if drought is an issue, and if so, then make sure you have access to a viable source of water at all times. With that being said, you should know by now which state you want to go for or at least you should have narrowed it down a bit if you've weighed in your pros and cons well. Just remember to visit the sites as well, since while a lot of land in certain states can be extremely fertile and rich, there can be said exceptions so you'll always want to check firsthand to make sure you're not making any mistakes along the way. Thank you for watching and good luck out there.